are continuing your voice, your vote coverage this morning, making sure you have what you need to know before you head to the polls for the Des Moines uh, City Council special election on March 19th. So just a reminder, here's a list of everyone running for that at large seat on Des Moines City Council candidate. Robert Pate is one of them, and he's joining us uh, today on Local 5 News Midday uh, just to kind of talk about where you're at today. I know you have a big announcement that you wanted to make first thing right here on Midday. Yes, so uh, I want to say that I'm suspending my campaign. Uh, this has been a great run. Uh, I feel that uh, I didn't really quite have all my ducks in a row, didn't really quite have yeah. the preparation there. And I don't want to um, give anyone else uh, uh, unfair advantage. You know, as we get closer to the election, I want to make sure that, you know, everyone has a chance yeah. to have an equal run at this. So, uh, but there was so much support uh, from the community, you know, from people, friends, family. Yeah. I, I think that it was great. Um, you know, this Des Moines, Iowa, of course, is my hometown yeah. and I love it. I just I feel that this was just the wrong time. Yeah. And I kind of jumped out there yeah. and wasn't prepared. So now that you're stepping out of the race, is there anyone in particular you're endorsing or are you stepping back to just do what you do? Yeah, I want to focus more, you know, on my work and image for lives. Yeah, you know, and, and help and people I think uh, right now you know that's that's more of my calling um, again th th this whole thing has just been a, a great experience yeah. you know I have I have twin daughters that are in the at the University of Iowa they're graduating in May and uh, they're going one's going off to law school the other one's going to med school and so you know, I want to focus on them yeah. and, and, and being a good father yeah and now that you're stepping back uh, stepping out of the race what are things that you want to see in whoever takes that seat? What are some things that you want to see change? Well, I'll tell you, you talked about who, who would I endorse or, you know, who do I like in the campaign? I, I like Lewis. I like Justin Lewis. I like his, uh, his attitude. Uh, you know, I think that uh, we need people who are not so much political politicians, but that are just kind of normal people to, yeah. to break that continuity up. You know, that was one thing that I wasn't impressed with is just all the, you know, the hype that deals with politics yeah. and, and everything that comes with that. I mean, I think we need more normal people that can, can do things from uh, just a humanity standpoint, you know, rather than a yeah. political standpoint. Yeah. So, so you're hoping to have someone in that seat who you feel represents uh, just the day-to-day the -day person. Yeah, yeah, the day-to-day -day person and deals with humanity. We have so many problems in our criminal justice uh, system that I've been working with this for probably the last six years. And so uh, it's a fight. I mean, yeah. the criminal justice system was built on a, such an evil crooked foundation that it's going to take a long time I think to get this thing turned around but I'm going to continue to keep fighting for it we've got like guys that are currently incarcerated under post-conviction reliefs and habeas corpus and some of these these things that started off in the district court here yeah. in, in our community and now they need help they can't get the help that they yeah. need because of all the corruption yeah so now that you're you're stepping back, you mentioned uh, focusing on your family, being a father, but then also uh, the work that you do. Uh, is that where you're going to continue to focus your, your efforts on? Yes, sir. You better believe it. You know, I love working with these guys coming out. I love I love working and, and seeing change, reentry, uh, helping guys get jobs, you know, yeah. helping guys uh, relate with their family. And uh, I just I just like to see that whole thing yeah. start to change and come around. And I think that, you know, being a city council, uh, being on the city council, that doesn't really give me the, the opportunity to, to do that kind of work. I mean, you know, you have four other votes that you have to get yeah. and you have to be on the same page and you know there, there's a lot that goes in with that now who's to say that I won't yeah. run sooner or later yeah. for you know yeah. something else but right now I think that this was the right decision yeah all right well you all heard it here first Robert Pate suspending his city council campaign thank you for joining us uh, today on local 5 news midday Robert you're welcome thank right. you well, if you missed our interviews with candidates Justin Lewis and Mike Simonson from yesterday, they are available to watch on our YouTube channel as well as online at weareiowa.com.